Errors. Who doesn't like them? If you get one, it means you made a mistake in your code somewhere, which is fine. We are all humans after all. I am a human too. So in this video, let's look at some common errors you can get in GameMaker and what they mean. We are not gonna look at compile errors, which is what you get while your game is being compiled. We are looking at runtime errors, which you get while your game is running. First of all, let's see what all of this is. It's saying there was an error in step event 0 of object 1. So there can also be step event 1 and 2, which are the begin and end ones. The error itself is on this line. It's saying there was a variable that was not set before reading it. It's one of the most common errors that beginners get. The variable is called potatoes and it's in object 1. It's also showing us the line of code where that error occurred. And then in the stack trace, it's telling us how it got there. And you read this from the bottom up. So first of all, in the step event of object 1, I call the add variable function. And then inside that function on line 2, I got the error because this is the final line in the stack trace. So what does the error mean? It's saying that you're trying to use a variable that you didn't create. So maybe you're trying to use it before creating it. So in that case, you'd want to swap the order of those lines so the variable is created first. Or maybe you forgot to initialize it in the create event, meaning you need to assign it a value when the instance is created. But mostly this happens because you had a typo where the variable was created or where you tried to use it, so the names don't end up matching. You can also get this if you mistype a function call. This one's saying it can't find an instance for object index 1. The name of that object is object 2. So you're trying to find an instance of an object, maybe trying to move it or get something from it, but it's not in the room. This can happen if you try to access it before it's created, so you'd want to fix that order. And now if you are doing something like this, it'd be safer to get the ID of the instance you're creating, and then accessing it directly from that ID to get whatever you want. You can also get the same error if you then destroy the instance and then try to access it. This can also happen in the create event if you unknowingly try to access an instance that's not been created yet. This can happen because of the instance creation order in the room. So say you try to access object 2 in the create event of object 1, but at that point object 2 hasn't been created yet. So you will get the same error. Then there's the do add error, which can also be do multiply or do divide, depending on what kind of math you're doing. This basically means that the things you're trying to add together are not compatible. In this example, I'm trying to add a string and a number because I want to draw them together, but they are different types of variables, so it's not going to work. The fix here is to convert the number into a string, and now you're adding two strings together, which works perfectly. This one is about function arguments. It's saying that I'm calling instance create layer, but the argument number 4 is of the wrong type. I passed it a string, but the function was expecting a number. Now this can be a bit confusing because in GML, arguments start at 0. So argument number 4 would actually be the fifth argument, but for this error specifically, these start at 1, meaning that argument number 4 is actually the fourth argument. So in my code, I'm passing it a string in argument 4, which is the name of the object that I want to create. But it's not expecting a string, it just wants the ID of the object. So I need to remove the quotes and just reference the object itself so its ID is passed into the function. So you get this error when you pass the wrong type of data into a built-in function. The last error we're going to cover is about arrays. Here it's saying that the index I'm trying to access from an array is out of its range. I'm trying to access index 3 and the array only has 3 elements. This means it has index 0, 1 and 2. But there's no fourth element with index 3. You would get the same error if you used minus 1 as the index because arrays start at 0. Now there are some ways to find the source of your error or at least narrow it down a bit more. You can use show debug message to print something to the output log. 
so you can either track a value by printing it every step or know when something happens by using it in a condition. To keep track of a value, you can also draw it to the screen directly. I've made a handy function to help you with this if you want to print multiple variables to the screen or to the log, so you can pause to read this function and write it in your project. But the best way to find errors in your code is GameMaker's built-in debugger. You can run the debugger by pressing this button or by pressing F6. And when you get an error, the debugger shows you exactly where that error occurred. Here you can see the values of different variables by hovering over them. You can also pause your game manually whenever you want and have a look at all the instances and their variables. In your code, you can put breakpoints. So when your game comes to this line, the debugger is going to pause to let you inspect that event at that point in time. I did a detailed video on the debugger, so I recommend watching that. I'll link it down in the description. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, we have more tutorials for you, so check them out and I'll see you there.